Hi everyone. In uh, today's video, I wanted to take you guys uh, through the oral examination checklist for deck watch keepers or for uh, third officer and second officer candidates. This is a checklist issued by the Australian Maritime Safety Authority or AMSA. And this is the latest checklist, of course. And although this may be an AMSA issued checklist, this checklist can be used by deck officers uh, appearing for second mate examinations anywhere in the world. It's a good checklist. It gives you a good idea of what are the areas that surveyors will normally target. All right, so you can see here, the checklist is divided into uh, subcategories, or let's say categories of operations, bridge equipment, navigation charts and publications, uh, stress and stability, standards of watchkeeping, so on and so forth. So let's see what are the areas included in each. Now remember, you are going to be appearing for a second mate or third officer, what we call our second officer oral examination. So for each of these areas, you will be expected to answer uh, at an appropriate level of a second officer. So remember, you always have the option of calling the master in uh, areas or situations where you are in doubt or uh, where uh, the vessel may be in unsafe conditions. So let's start with operations and you can see that uh, the questions asked here is, uh, so we are here, we are starting from the left side of the screen. So classification societies, who or what they are, uh, what are their functions, uh, fun frequency of musters and drills, ISM code, the objectives, uh, designated persons, so on and so forth, ISPS code, then the international conventions of MARPOL, SOLAS, Ballast Water, MLC, which stands for Maritime Labor Convention, uh, ship inspection regimes, joining ship, handing over, taking over, marine orders in, in the case of, of course, Australia. Uh, otherwise, you have M notices, MS notices, uh, occupational health and safety, responsibilities and duties of a second mate or a third officer. And then of course, ship records for garbage record book, oil record book, approved stability information, statutory certificates, types of service, so on and so forth. Now, I don't want to read through this checklist because you can download this checklist from the AMSA website. So if you go into the AMSA website and just type in oral examination checklist or something like that in the uh, search section, you will find this checklist. Now this checklist is for second mate candidates or deck watchkeeper candidates. You can find similar checklist for chief mate of and ship's masters as well. And depends on the tonnage. Sometimes they have different checklists for uh, uh, depending on the tonnage as well. All right. Then you also have standards of uh, watchkeeping uh, where you talk, they talk about the bridge resource management principles, fitness for duty, maintaining a proper lookout, so on and so forth. In bridge equipment, you have asked questions about AIS, ARPA, EGDIS, steering procedures, stress and stability. You can see questions regarding freshwater allowance, stock water allowance. Basic knowledge of loading, ballasting techniques are being asked. Um, navigation charts and publications, you can see what all questions are being asked. So here you'll be asked some questions about gyro and magnetic compass errors as well. Uh, notice to mariners, ship reporting systems. Now in my channel, I have made videos um, mostly on all these topics. So you should be able to find some video on my topic on, on, on my channel regarding these areas. Uh, there might you might have to go more in depth. Uh, but there are some videos mostly on most of these topics. Um, but if you don't find something in my channel and you feel that you are lacking knowledge in it or you have any doubts in it, uh, let me know in the comments section. Then you go on to cargo work. You can see the areas which are being asked in cargo work. Again, like I said, I don't want to read out every point because you can do, do that as well and it will become very boring. Um, I just want to give you some tips here. So remember all these areas. Again, there are so many areas. And when you start studying for oral examination, there, there is so much to study. The surveyor can pretty much ask you anything. And even when you see this checklist here, you might think that there is so much here. Uh, but remember the idea here is to know a little bit about each of these areas. And then of course you have to specialize in certain areas. For example, rules of the road that you see here. And although the checklist here mentions pretty much all the rules, uh, you have to focus on rules of the road because at a watchkeeper's level, at a, as, a, as a second mate or a third mate, you should know your rules of the road thoroughly. But if I come to ship handling, which you see on the left side of your screen, ship handling, then of course, as a watchkeeper, you are not expected to be an expert in ship handling, right? So at that point of time, you can study about ship handling, but you don't have to go really in depth of uh, to you know how will uh, uh, 
the ship respond to a certain you know engine movement or rudder movement uh, because the surveyor will know that on the ship second mate third mates are not really in charge of uh, handling ships in uh, especially in pilotage waters or when 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 the speed slows down uh, when there is maneuvering tricky maneuvering uh, it's the master it's the senior officers you know as a chief officer yes sometimes we have to do it but uh, mostly as a master so that's what i mean so when you see this checklist remember to know which are the areas you have to focus on depending on the rank uh, on uh, which you are targeting uh, so emergency situations again you have to know your duties as an officer not as a master so if you are asked about man overboard procedure you have to list out the actions you will do as an officer on the bridge not as a master you don't have to worry about carrying out the maneuvering they might ask you a little bit about you know the different kinds of maneuvering but they will not expect you to know uh, intricate details of how a ship will respond to each maneuver all right which is expected of master candidates uh, similarly you know you have to know about the shipboard equipment and machinery uh, so you have to know about um, live boats and firefighting systems because that is something that uh, junior officers do but again when it comes to maintenance of bilge and ballast tanks uh, general knowledge uh, will be sufficient just generally keeping the bilges clean there's there uh, making sure that if there is any residue you clean it up after every cargo operation especially or on bulk carriers or something like that all right similarly with distress urgency and safety messages which are the messages issued in which situations you are not expected to carry out the procedure of going to a, another ship to rescue your job is to inform the master if you receive any message or to respond to the message appropriately but not taking action towards it your job is to inform the master so that is what i want to show you here you can see here uh, there is also a category of ability to communicate to a satisfactory standard in the english language now again this is a satisfactory standard because it is understood that many international students may not have command over the language i am from india as well and i don't have command over the english language as good as some other people do uh, and that's i speak fast as well sometimes that's an issue with me as well but uh, generally you should be able to answer the questions to the surveyor's satisfaction so sometimes what will help you is to write down the points to jot down the points before you start answering that is helpful as well because then you don't have to speak from memory also shows the surveyor that you have some logical way of thinking a uh, structured way of thinking before you start uh, writing or, or you know regurgitating the answers for example if you are asked questions about um, taking over watch right so you have here taking over watch um, so when you talk about taking over watch or handing over watch uh, joining ship so you have to list the points in a logical structured manner uh, not randomly whichever is coming first to your memory so if you write, write down the points that will be good for you right uh, so i thought i should make this video because uh, this is a good checklist for you guys to use uh, especially when you are studying uh, so when uh, you know when you feel that you are prepared and you are confident just go through this checklist making sure that you have covered each of these areas if not fully in depth then at least you have some surface level knowledge so that if you are asked any question some basic question let's say let's, let's take the example of radar plotting now radar plotting of course uh, hopefully the surveyor will not make you do a radar plotting but if he ask you about the you know oaw triangle can you answer about the oaw triangle can you tell the basics about the radar plotting so that is how you have to think so once you are done with your oral exam preparation go through this checklist tick off the ones that you know uh, highlight the ones that you don't know if you are lacking in time have a chat with your friends uh, get to know something about each of these areas so that uh, in future when you go for orals and the examiner asks you a question at least you can provide some response to it or at least you can tell the examiner or surveyor that you know where to find the correct answer that is the whole idea all right so uh, i think this video is long enough but let me know if you want me to go through each of these points in the checklist i don't want to do that because it becomes very long and boring um, but in future i will also discuss a checklist for the chief mate examination and the ship's master examination as well uh, so that you guys are familiar and you have an idea but like i said you can download this checklist from the amsa website and i'm sure there are checklist for uh, examinations in your countries as well uh, but let me know uh, and i will be happy to address your concerns and doubts uh, thank you for watching today's video and bye